Now, in its 25th year, its silver anniversary, the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad is going back on site in various test centers across the country after two years of online competitions. After its trial run in 1984, it was officially launched in 1986 and has been held annually since 2007. The country's contestants to the International Mathematical Olympiad are chosen from the top students who compete in the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad. The PMO is a project of the Mathematical Society of the Philippines and the Department of Science and Technology Science Education Institute, with official airline partner Cebu Pacific, and major sponsor Foundation for Upgrading the Standard of Education Incorporated. My name is Hazel Joyshi. I am a former Philippine Math Olympiad National Finalist. In this video, we will be using Fermat's Little Theorem in solving some problems. So let P be a prime and A be an integer. Then the Fermat's Little Theorem states that A to the P is congruent to A mod P. And if the GCD of A and P is equal to 1, then A to the P minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod P. As a remark, so if the GCD of A and P is, is equal to 1, then the Fermat's Little Theorem is just a special case of Euler's Theorem where n is a prime. So, I highly recommend that you go back to um, our video on Euler's Theorem to learn more about it. So, now we move on. So, from the 16th PMO qualifying stage, part 1, number 8, what is the remainder when 2 to the 201 is divided by 7. A, 1, B, 4, C, 2, D, 3. Okay, so 2 and 7 are relatively prime. And um, 201 is congruent to 3 mod 6. So we can use the Fermat's Little Theorem. So 2 to the 201. So we reduce the exponent no, to um, modulo 6. So 2 to the 201 is congruent to 2 cubed mod 7. And... 2 cubed is 8, so which is 1 mod 7. So the answer is A equals 1. Next, on the 21st PM qualifying stage, part, 10 number, part 2 number 10, what is the remainder when 1 to the 2018 plus 2 to the 2018 plus up until 2017 raised to 2018 is divided by 2018? A, 0. B, 2. C, 1009. D, 2017 so so note that the um, the given number 2018 is not a prime so how come we can use the Fermat's little theorem um, actually if um, you can actually use Euler's theorem but um, for the purpose of this uh, um, topic on Fermat's little theorem we will be using it instead so what we know is that the prime factorization of um, 2018 is 2 times 1009 so what we're going to do is that we will be looking at the remainder of the sum separately when divided by 2 and when divided by 1009. Okay, so what we did here is that we reduced the, the basis modulo 2. So all of the odd will have uh, base 1 while all of the even will have base 0. Okay, so there are 1009 odds here. So we have 1009 times 1 raised to 2018, so which is 1009, which is 1 modulo 2. So from here we know that the sum should be an odd number. So now let's look at um, its remainder when divided by 1009. Okay, so 1009 divides A, then we can use the Fermat's little theorem. So we have A to the 1009 congruent to A mod 1009. Uh, but then since A is divisible by 1009, then it's 0 mod 1009. So, if 1009 does not divide A, since uh, 1009 is a prime, then A and 1009 should be relatively prime. So, we use the second form of Fermat's little theorem. So, we know that A to the 1008 is congruent to 1 mod 1009. And then, um, so since what we need is exponent 2018, so 2018 is uh, 2016 plus 2. So A to the 2016, which is twice 1008, so that becomes 1. And then you're left with um, A squared. So now the sum, when, um, when you reduce it modulo 1018, Okay, so that becomes, so we just change all of the exponents from 2018 to 2. 
and then um, note that all of them are relatively prime 1 to 2017 um, with respect to 1009 except with 1009 so so for 1009 it becomes a zero but um, what we're going to do is we're going to change zero with 1009 squared so basically we add back we add 1009 squared which is okay because we're adding a number that is divisible by 1009 so it doesn't change the remainder when divided by 1009 okay so now we're now um, trying to get the sum of squares from 1 to 2017 so we have a formula there so if you are going to um, add the sum of squares from 1 to n so that would be n times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 all over 6 so and then we're just going to try to cancel out some numbers here so so we can cancel 2 with 1000 2018 so we get 1009 and then we cancel 4035 by 3 so we have 1345 so what is important here is that we got a number that is divisible by 1009 and therefore it's z 0 modulo 1009 so what we have here is that the sum is an odd multiple of 1009 so therefore when we divide it by 2018 the sum should be 1009 no? modulo 2018 so therefore the answer here is letter c 1009 and then for the last item for 23rd pmo qualifying stage part 1 number 14 so we want to get the remainder when so the summation of n to the n from n is equal to 2 to 2021 20, is divided by 5 a1 b2 c3 d4 okay so again no so we use the fermat's little theorem so if uh, 5 divides n then n to the 5 is congruent to n mod 5 so n being divisible by 5 so it should be 0 mod 5 and then what if 5 does not divide n so again uh, n is uh, 5 is prime so therefore they are relatively prime so you can use the second form of Fermat's theta theorem so n to the fourth is congruent to 1 mod 5 okay so um we are dealing with several numbers here so from 2 to 2021 and then um what we know is that um, we can reduce the exponent modulo 4 and then we can also reduce the base uh, modulo 5 so uh four five four times 5 20 so maybe we can look at trying to reduce both the exponent and the base by 20 so let us write n equals 20 q plus r so where q and r are integers and um r is like the remainder when you divide n by 20 so but uh, we are already going to exclude all the possible remainders that are divisible by 5 so namely 0 5 10 and 15 so because we already know that if uh, the number is divisible by 5 then its remainder when divided by 5 is 0 so let's remove that okay and then so that uh, at least we can also exclusively use the Fermat's little theorem on the second form okay so n to the n is equal to so 20q plus r raised to 20q plus r so what we're going to do we're going to reduce the base so um so modulo 5 no? so we're left with r raised to 20q plus r and then now um we're also going to reduce um the exponent modulo 4 so r to the r um but um yeah we we don't know if um how big r is but so let us just try just to remove remove modulo 20 instead so r to the r okay so what's important to us is that at least we know that um n to the n cycles um with period 20 so that means that we know that um let's say n to the n is say 23 3 to 23 then it should just be the same as 3 cube and so with 43 raised to 43 so on so forth so that means that um, if we group together 
um, the sum from 1 to 20, then it should be the same as uh, 21 to 40 and then 41 to 60, so on and so forth. So, we can just look at the, the sum of the first 20. Okay? Okay, so uh, we just um, expand everything, um, but for those numbers that are um, divisible by 5, we already change it to 0, since anyway, they are divisible by 5. And then now, we are going to reduce the basis modulo 5. Uh, but instead of um, changing 3 and 4 with 3 and 4, so we just change it to negative 2 and negative 1. So it's okay uh, when we're dealing with uh, mod arit modular arithmetic. Um, and then also so that if in case we need to um, compute numbers, uh, it would be easier for us to uh, maybe cancel some terms here if ever there are any uh, numbers of the same uh, magnitude but of opposite signs. Okay, so now we're going to reduce the exponents uh, modulo 4. Yan, okay, so, so this one. And then, of course, for the last row, so this is coming from a negative 1, no? so powers of negative 1. So we already know that if um, the number has an even exponent, then it's, it's, it's equal to 1. And then if it's odd, then it's negative 1. Okay. Okay, so from here, we know that a 2 cube and negative 2 cube should cancel out, as well as 2 raised to 1 and negative 2 raised to 1. So we just add them, so 4 plus 4, so which is 8, 9, 10, 10 plus 4, so 14. And then for this one, so the whole um, column of 1 and negative 1 cancels out. So you're left with 14 modulo 5, which is 4 mod 5. Okay? So now we go back to the original problem. Okay? So, end to the end, from... 2 to 2021 so you have 101 sets of um uh n to the n from 1 to 20 at least in modulo 5 they are all equal okay so when we did this uh, we already know the remainder from 1 to 2020 so we're going to add 2021 raised to 2021 and then we deduct 1 to the 1 set since um, we it is included in the summation all right so from the previous computation we know that the remainder of n to the n from 1 to 20 is 4 and then 2021 raised to 2021 we reduce um, the base modulo 5 so 1 raised to 2021 so 120 1 raised to 2021 minus 1 is just 0 so and then also we can reduce 101 modulo 5 which is 1 so 1 times 4 we get 4 so hence, our answer is letter D, number 4. So that ends the video. Thank you very much for watching.